Well, it just uh, gives an indication of where you are in terms of your preparation for the big fight. My preparation is going good. <clears throat> Fit already, my fitness is good. Well, I'm still training hard, just started sparring. Everything's so far up to now, went well. Uh, you were up at Fort William for a bit. Give us the thinking behind that. We were up to Fort William, uh, just basically to do the, the base training, to get some base fitness. That was a, the hard runs up the hills, and basically just concentrating and running. Had a wee hiccup there, was a, a food poisoning in a curry house, what happened there? No, it was just, I don't know, it's just like, but it was all right, good thing is, it happened on the Friday, so the time Monday came, I was back training. Right, we just saw you go through a workout there, is that your normal routine? Just give us an indication what you have to do to prepare for a, a big fight. This is, just what you've seen there, that's, this is kind of, I've still stepped up training up, this is just kind of midway through it. Done my hard run this morning, trained in here, and then I'll get my run this afternoon. How many uh, sorry, do my swim the night. How many <clears throat> hours a day all in, swimming, jogging, sparring, boxing, whatever does it take for a boxer these days? Me, personally, about five, six hours. And the sacrifices you make to do that? Ah, it's, big, it's, it's a lot of sacrifices, but I'm willing to make them to and get what I want. And your wee boy's here supporting you? Jake, he's here, he's not nursery today, so I had him, and he's just messing about with the bags and that. He's not got a bad left jab either, has he? Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> it's not bad. That's my ass, ass grander, it showed him that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't encourage it. Let's uh, look ahead to the fight. Amir Khan on his own backyard, your thoughts? It's, <clears throat> it's like this level, you're not going to get easy fights at this level. I've just trained for this fight, like I would train for any other fight. So it's going to be a tough fight, but it's going to be hard for him as well. He's yeah. already talking about winning it inside seven. Has he been a bit premature? If that's the way he feels, then I can't, I, I'll, I'll, we'll see what happens on the night, but I'll, I'll not be like that. How much of an advantage do you think you have, given that you've fought championship fights over 12 rounds and he hasn't? He's had a lot of big fights, he's, he's had a lot of publicity, kind of prime time telling you that, but once we get in the ranks, just me and him, and then when it starts going hard, we'll, we'll see where he's at at that. And the experience at this level is with you? Massive, aye. Experience, uh, it's, it's good when you get into the later rounds and then you start counting your experience, it, it does help. How much of an advantage is it for you against someone who, at this stage, is still a relative novice in the professional level? He's only had 13 fights, I've had this in my 30 fight, so experience. For me, I think I'll have a lot of experience here, and I think it'll tell on the night. Right. How much different a boxer, more well prepared a boxer, are you now to the fight against Alex Arthur four years ago? A massive, massive difference. Now we've got a good team behind us. We've got Bobby Nelson, John McGuinness, and Dr. Neil McFarlane for uh, Glasgow University, and he's been a massive difference to us. He's brilliant. And obviously the the transition with Peter and Billy as well. I will. When I fought Alex Arthur, it was I was just like my first fight, getting trained up here, so we had a lot of adjustments to make and get used to each other. But now everything's good, Everything we know each other inside out and, and I think I'm a, a much better fighter now, definitely. Some, some might suggest you're putting your neck on the line, putting your, the Commonwealth title up at risk, what do you say to that? So, I'm a champion now, so I've got it. I wouldn't have it any other way. It was me going into fight non-title fights when I had a belt. <clears throat> How important do you think it is for Scottish boxing that there's some positive publicity about it, given what's preceded it? I think Scottish boxing and who are pretty strong in championship wise, so it's good for Scottish boxing if I win this fight and we can start getting their shows up here again. And I think it will make a massive difference to, to the boxing up here. He will have a fair bit of following, but I guess you will too. I'll have a big following going down. I'll have a, I've got a big fan base up here and a few will be travelling down, aye. How much is a few? It's between nearly a thousand, I would say. You reckon as much uh, as that? I would say about a thousand. And how many are they anticipating for the night itself? Say it holds 23,000, doesn't it? 23,500 it holds. I don't know if it's near follow, if it's near a sale, that'll be good. I guess you wouldn't have <coughs> boxed in front of a crowd like that before? I think the most I've fought in front of is about 8,000, I think. But it's, uh, it doesn't matter. Does it ever go through your, when you're boxing, are you that just fixated on, in the ring and what's happening there, whatever goes on? I do, so I'm just tunnel vision on who I'm fighting at the time. It doesn't, uh, <coughs> you know, you hear the noise, you, you hear a difference in the noise level if you're fighting in hotels to big shows like this, but. It's good, I want to fight in shows like this, this is the shows I've, I've, I've done boxing for as a wee boy for, to come on shows like this and, and win titles at like this. And this if, if, as we all hope, you're successful in defending, what next would be for you? Just look me at another defence of my Commonwealth title, or who knows, who knows what Frank Warren and Alec Morrison's got planned for me, but I hope it's good. Absolutely. Uh -huh. A little birdie was telling me you can get 20 to 1 on you, is that a, worth a wager? I would say it's, it's worth any wager, isn't it? At that rate, <laughs> that's no bad. <laughs> um, do you think Scottish boxing needs... Good success story, given what's happened in the last year. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, Lemond, you know, it's a boost in the arm for Scottish Scottish boxing. You know, I believe this is a, this came at a good time for Willie. Willie's deserved a chance since. I mean, it was four years ago he got beat by Alec Arthur, and he's improved considerably since then. 
and I believe he'll show his talent, his true talent against Amir Khan and go on onwards and upwards after this fight. Amir okay, Khan obviously is undefeated as well since his short time moving from amateur to pro. How much of a risk do you think he is taking? How much a step up is he taking taking on Willie? He's took a bit. Oh, this is a huge step for Amir Khan. You know, the, the fullest of respect to the people that he's fought. The, you know, the journeyman. Willie Lemond is a championship fighter. Uh, he's rated a championship fighter. And he'll prove, he'll prove that on the 14th of July. Just tell us, uh, in terms of the training mechanism, what's happened, what happens here on in? From here on in, it's, well, as the same with any boxer, uh, three to four weeks before the, the fight, they'll do the sparring. That's when they get, you know, the, the, they get their distance, get their sharpness, uh, and, their, their, you know, their weight comes down as well. Everyone gets on to, to making the weight, being sharp, and being mentally, mentally fit as well as physically fit. I mean, we saw his, his wee boys here just now. How much of a sacrifice does a boxer have to make? Oh, the, the general public really don't understand the, the sacrifices boxers have got to make. You know, they're away for their kids, away for their, you know, their loved ones in general, uh, to try and you know put food in, food on the table, keep a roof over the head. And this is that's what I know for a, for a fact with Willie. He's got two children, a lovely wife. This is it's all this is all for them. And just finally, uh, how much has he improved since that last title fight against Arthur? Oh, he's improved 30 to 40 percent, without a shadow of doubt.